Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing some MG mod, which is made by Dr. Teaspoon, and we're using it to play some Legends of Dota. Just kind of a classic high-powered Legends of Dota lobby. That was the goal today. I felt like that was gonna be a bit of fun, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I also wanted to kind of remind you, tell you, uh, that we released Sweet Dreams Alex yesterday. That's my video game that's been in development for a couple of years, and... Um, yeah, I'm really proud of it. I, I think it's a really cute game. Uh, it's just on Steam. It's just a full-on video game. There's no microtransactions or any, any shit like that. You just buy the game and then you have everything that's in it. And it's cute. It's it's a, a little puzzle construction style game-ish thing. It's a bit hard to describe. It's a bit weird. I mean, you guys know I like weird games. Um, and this is very much... I think if we are it very much fits into that category, but it's cute. It's fun. So, you know, if you want to, there's the link down description. Go check it out. Uh, but for now, let's get ourselves into the game. All right. We got ourselves Kunkka. Now, something I think is really interesting about Legends of Dota is how there are so many builds that are so powerful because they are using interesting interactions between different abilities or they're just using individually really powerful abilities and then supporting them. But then there's also builds like what we are doing today. So this is a really simple style of just caster, where all we have is some cooldown reduction, we have multicast, and then individually powerful spells that are good because they are magic missiles. We have Stormhammer, we have Magic Missile, we have Assassinate. And then Blink, just so we can get in there. And honestly, that's all you need. I know, sounds a little bit silly, but it's just the kind of thing where... If you can just stun people, it'll take care of business. That's it, right? We run in, we throw in a magic missile, and then they are not going to have a good time. We throw in a storm hammer, and they're not going to have a good time. Another thing that's great about these abilities is that they have upgrades. So we can get storm hammer cooldown reduced, extra stun duration, extra uh, magic missile damage, right? We can make magic missile pure. Uh, we also have Aghanim Scepter upgrades that are really powerful. So with Stormhammer, we eat ourselves. With Magic Missile, Aghanim Shard, we bounce the missile. Um, we get Assassinate, which uh, may not really fit into the Magic Missile plan at first glance, but I'm not using Assassinate. I'm using Assassinate with Aghanim Scepter. And at that point, I think it'll be obvious. It's just another very powerful Magic Missile on a low cooldown. And yeah, that's the plan. It's nothing crazy. But uh, our opponents are not going to have a very good time going up against it. And that's what we're going to try to use. And uh, for now, though, it's just magic missile time. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, right? We can just kind of trade some hits. Yeah, uh, probably not enough, honestly. Ooh, the ogre is huge with that Berserker's blood. I mean, it's Ogre Magi, so it's not a big surprise. <laughs> but that's still kind of crazy. Alright, so now we've got uh, Magic Missile on top of our, our previous Magic Missiles. And uh, yeah, get ourselves a kill. Nice. I mean, we also lost an ally, but uh, that happens, I guess. <laughs> that's just going to happen sometimes, right? So, we'll grab ourselves this and some stats. Can you tell I've been playing normal though? I'm actually buying proper items instead of just rushing TP boots every game. I know, entirely unacceptable. Alright, uh, we're taking some damage, which isn't great. But with the magic missile, with a stun, I mean... Storm hammer. I don't know. Maybe we can go for something here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a point into blink. Blink is just for later. It'll be really useful, trust me. Alright, we interrupt that. Throw in another stun. And then we disengage here. That hurts, but I think we're fine. Because we just come in here, right? And then uh, we'll be just okay. Although I need to be slightly careful because I don't want to... I don't want to get immediately killed after I say we're going to be okay. <laughs> oh, that happened. That happens. Just kind of a little more frequently than it probably should. Uh, Alright, just kind of body blocking a bit. 
want to keep them away, right? And then we'll take down some creeps. Very nice. Get the magic missile. Uh, in terms of items, well, we're going to need mana. We're going to need uh, Aghanim Scepter and Aghanim Shard. And that's it. So we actually got a really wide range of possible items. And that's another nice thing about a build like this, right? It's not that we need anything specific. We just kind of need a couple of different things that could be good. But at the end of the day, it's kind of a little open-ended. And that's nice. Again, these kinds of builds are straightforward. They're just using good abilities. Just value builds. <laughs> Uh, we're almost level 6. At level 6, our opponents are going to start having a hard time here because, uh, you know, we'll start multicasting. So this is a one-shot build, right? That, that'll be kind of scary. We've got a really tanky ogre with sleight of fist. I guess that buys time? I suppose that's... I, I guess that kind of makes some sense. Alright, we'll get multicast. So now, if the fella gets close, we just... Throw a magic missile at him. Oh no, it multicasts like that. That's not great. Okay. <laughs> so you gotta be a little careful there. It's not too bad. Keep in mind, we're getting the Aghanim shard with magic missile. Then the bouncers are gonna hit him anyway. Hmm. So it's not a big deal. Oh, that hurts though. Yeah, I guess I have to get some more healing. Because otherwise we'll be... Uh, just kind of chipped down by those heavy hits. No big deal, though. No big deal. Um, maybe I should skill my uh, assassinate. I don't know. I haven't skilled my other ultimates just yet. We need to be a little careful of our skill points. I mean, multicast is obviously always worth it. Oh, so close. But I think right now we just don't have enough mana to properly sustain the other abilities just yet. So for the moment, it's probably smarter to just kind of, like, play it a little safe. Alright, there we go. Gotta be careful here. Ah. We didn't quite get there. Didn't quite. It was close, though. It was close. Alright, we'll take these. I want to get myself some extra mana, so... We'll get an energy booster as quickly as we can. Because that way we get some mana regen that, that'll be quite valuable. Wait, do you want to... No, we. I don't think we have... I don't think we have enough. I would like to go for the kill, of course, but... Uh, it's just kind of a little tricky against uh, the Dawnbreaker like this, right? Okay, so we have some extra mana now. Ooh. Gotta get some distance. We chill, we chill, we chill, we wait. Nice. I like the inverse. That's clever. And we'll throw in a stun. Didn't get a multicast. That's a problem. <laughs> I guess that's gonna happen sometimes, but it's still unfortunate. That's funny that you got inverse. I mean, it ended up working out, right? So who am I to complain about it? Oh, hello. Ooh, that's maybe not the best play. I mean, I guess it's fine. I'm just gonna disengage, right? This is also why I got Blink Dagger. I know Blink Dagger, not Blink Dagger, um, Blink, not Blink Dagger. It may not seem like the most impressive ability, but honestly, just having free access to a Blink that doesn't get canceled by damage is just god tier. It's just super good. Oh, nice. All right. We're landing some good hits there, keeping our distance. Just, just chilling. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Stay in the back. Phantom Assassin comes in, nukes him down. Oh, there's a fella. It's okay. We can get him. Magic Missile and dead. <laughs> hey, that's all we need at the end of the day. So, we'll get these two as our next items here. And I think I'll get a point into good juju at this stage. That seems nice. Alright, more stuns. Very good. Take him down. Magic missile damage. Although arguably the cooldown reduction would be nice too. I mean, it would be nice. It's just probably not better than getting 200 extra damage, right? 
Can I blink all the way up here? Yep. <laughs> so what I did right there is I used um, the fact that I was going to multicast the blink to blink outside of my actual cast range. That does work. It's kind of funny, isn't it? But as it recasts, it will recast at the original location. And then you can blink way the hell away from everything. Did you know that if you carry cats through videos for often enough, they get really annoyed and want to leave? Well, I hope you don't want to leave. Please leave a rating on the like on the video. And oh my God, my arm, oh, I'm being bitten. Okay, I gotta go, sorry. All right then. I um, think we're just chilling. Not really gonna do anything else right now. I don't think I wanna skill anything. We gotta be a little careful of our skill points, right? There, there are a lot that we need. We want to make sure we're skilling everything. And we do want to be skilling everything. Oh, no. Oh, it's a sniper with essence shift. And uh, chemical rage. That's not good. That's scary. A little bit of a terrifying hero right there. All right, I'm coming in. Okay. Didn't get lucky on that. Get more multicast, get this bad boy, and you're down anyway. Not a problem. I'm not sure if I want more good juju. Ah, oh, that's kind of tricky. I think so, right? Like, good juju is probably worth getting. Can I blink this far? I can blink pretty far, but not that far. Ooh, this guy. All right. Here are some stuns for you, but I think I have to leave. All right, we'll get out of here. Hey, Pfeffy Florian, thanks for the 36 months. I appreciate it very much, my friend. Oh, there's a guy. All right. <laughs> all right, the assassinates are kind of just wildly flying all over the place. Oh, sick. But, uh... <laughs> So, Assassinate isn't as good as I had hoped it would be. Um, it does just kind of aim at anything that could possibly be in range. That's a shame. I thought it might like just allow us to target people down a bit better. So this Primal Beast is gonna be an issue. Right? It's just kind of, kind of a huge, huge dude. Oh no. Okay, well we landed Aston, I guess. Now, this Primal Beast is definitely going to be an issue. Here's a stun for you. Just kind of keep throwing these out. Oh, no. Okay. Gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the way that's playing out right now. Here's an Assassinate. No! <laughs> and we did. I'll TP back. Maybe I can survive with the Fountain. Oh, that was so close. I should have TP'd back earlier. <laughs> so the Primal Beast having Counterspell is definitely an issue. So it's just kind of a huge tanky man. I mean, that's going to happen, right? Uh, we have some of those on our team as well. Though unfortunately, our opponents have uh, the uh, Sniper, who is a bit of a counter to that. Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and assassinate you. Hey, we're just kind of shooting, shooting some uh, some projectiles all over the place. All right, good. That's a standard landed. We'll level up the storm hammer. Here's a guy. <laughs> it's just going all over the place. So primal beast is just not dying, like at all. We have lots of stuns, but like nowhere near enough damage. Luckily, I am farming some creeps. Just very much to go. <laughs> oh no. Didn't get a multicast on that one, but we have this. There we go. Shoot you. Nice. Shoot you. Pick this up, this and this. Here's a multicast. Now we're just kind of like hanging out in the corner. No big deal. 
nobody's nobody's getting hurt, which is arguably the problem, but <laughs> arguably we would want people to get hurt. Um, but so far that has unfortunately not been working out for us. So I'm just gonna go back. Whew, what are we doing about this primal beast? I mean, that is certainly an issue, isn't it? And we've got Octarine core now, so lower cooldowns. There you go. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Oh, it's getting very bright right now. I have the uh, blinds kind of open because uh, it was raining and it was nice. I don't know, I just kind of got the ri rain coming in, tapping on the windows, you know. But uh, now the sun is peeking out again, which I guess is nice too, but also... Ooh, can we assassinate? We'll, we'll throw in an assassinate from a distance away. And there's a stun. Got him. Nice. Then, magic missile cooldown, storm hammer stun duration, we'll get the stun duration, right? We gotta be careful with our talents now. We're probably not getting any of our level 20 talents. They seem just a little mediocre, right? So they are not a priority. But I do want my magic missile deals pure damage talent. That seems really good against the primal beast. Because Primal Beast has a lot of magic resistance. So having a way to bypass that seems worthwhile. Here's a stun for you. Oh, man. Here's some more stuns. Oh. <laughs> that one is more for me, I suppose. All right, keep throwing these bad boys in there. Oh, no! I'm going to have to go. I am uh, just kind of dying. There's a sniper. I'll I'll show him who is the real sniper. It's him. I'm just, just a gun guy. <laughs> I'm just a dude with a gun, really. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves... Some defense against their defense, as in some sustain. We'll pick up some spell ice steel, and hopefully with that, we can uh, just kind of keep fighting, even if they are resisting our damage, even if they are reflecting our damage, because, uh, you know, it'll just keep us healthy. And we have the Aghanim's Shard now. So we've got a Silence, is nice and also we've got the bounce now oh no you're fighting the wrong enemy my friend oh it's not targeting the way i would like it to all right there we go just kind of bounce these nice oh <laughs> stun city <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. You're not doing anything. <laughs> hmm. But what do we do about this guy now? There's some damage reflection. But we have the Bloodstone going on right now. Nice. All right. Yeah, I think we got him. Good one. Do I want a blink dagger on top of my existing blink? Just shooting random creeps. Good. Let's get ourselves. Magic missile becomes pure. Because you know. That seems good. <laughs> and... Uh, This helps us recover our mana as well. Wait, wasn't there somebody else? Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Okay. Keep our distance. Keep our distance from this. And in we go. No! 
What did I die to? Monkey King. Still took him down. Still took him down. Shard makes the magic missile bounce. Yeah, that's the Aghanim's Shard. Aghanim's Shard makes it so our magic missile bounces between targets, which is a pretty nice effect. Okay, um... I'm thinking we just get Hex. So, as I said earlier, one of the nice things about a build like this, compared to, you know, like, something like what the Sniper's going for, or even what the Primal Beast is doing, we are not really tied to any items. Like, sure, Aghanims and Octarine Core are nice, but they're not mandatory. Okay, Aghanims kind of is, but, like, Octarine Core isn't really... We can just kind of get stuff. We can just get a Hex if we wanted. I mean, I could even get a Silver Edge, which wouldn't be the worst thing. Because uh, I could use it with Assassinate to break the Primal Beast from a distance. Can you activate Stormhammer? I could, but then I yeet myself in there, which seems worse. <laughs> no, doesn't that seem like a bad thing to do? I get the feeling that that might not be too beneficial. I guess it buys us some moments of invincibility. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, I love that. Give me some extra cast range. Particularly for the magic missile. I kind of wish we had a way... Like, I kind of wish it felt possible to fit in the magic missile cast range upgrade. Oh my god. Man, maybe I should get it. Maybe I, sh maybe I should use the uh, teleport for like a moment of invincibility. Because like the sniper just has a lot of attack range. And then we just get gunned down by Gunslinger. Hmm. It's definitely an interesting dilemma that we found ourselves in. What's the Butch doing? Oh, Heartstopper Aura. Yeah, Heartstopper Aura is a filthy ability. That's a really, really strong ability. So let's upgrade this into some proper boots so we actually go a little bit quicker here. Then there's a sniper, which I, I'm just going to go ahead and kill the sniper right now. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, that is not fine. Oh, I, no, I didn't multicast my hex. Hmm. I would have killed the sniper. But then uh, the Dawnbreaker came in. Oh, look at that. God, that's so crazy. Uh, it's just honestly, Essence Shift with the uh, Chemical Rage is an incredibly powerful combination. And it just kind of like tears through people like nothing. Look at him just annihilate people. Alright, we're coming. We're coming down here. <laughs> Just kind of senseless violence. Assassinating anybody around us. Oh, talking about assassinating people. Oh, no. Can we find the... Hmm, no multicast. So, uh, we probably just level up Stormhammer. Tricky one. I think we get the minus four seconds Stormhammer cooldown. Because it is more cooldown reduction, right? And I don't get these. Although the minus two seconds magic missile cooldown, is that better than leveling up this? Probably. Magic missile is more powerful, right? Does Stormhammer just stay at level two? I guess. Alright, just kind of keep throwing out stuns. Alright. Nice. Lock him down. Lock him down. No, we do have a skill point here. 
And I'm not getting magic missile cast range. I think these are both worse than Stormhammer, right? And then I sell this. And I probably just get myself an E-Blade. And I consume this. And I get a Yules, I think. By your compass. Oh no! Whoa! Whoa, what happened? I got interrupted! Oh... My own multicasting interrupted my other casts. Oh, that's a shame. I totally could have gotten that kill otherwise. Alright. No, can't help. I tried, I tried. And then we get ourselves the cooldown reduction. So, unfortunately, we couldn't get this to max level. I think that's just how it is, though. Like, I just don't think we had enough skill points. Oh no, I'm getting stunned now. Oh no, don't stun me. Oh no! <laughs> What's the cooldown on this? There we go. Oh, the monkey's already gone. Get your hot dogs here. I guess. No! Inris! Hey, Chuchucks. Thanks for the 57 months, my friend. Very nice of you. Ooh, the uh, perma spamming, infinite spamming phantom assassin there. And we're more for supporting though, but I think we're doing pretty well in that regard. Right, like our opponents are definitely having a hard time in fights because they're just like getting disabled a lot. Although the primal beast is a problem. It's honestly just that uh, anti-mage counter magic thing. That's been blocking a lot of our abilities. Oh no. Goodbye. Don't wanna don't wanna fight this guy. Oh no. Alright, let's go. Oh god. So sometimes the blink is weird. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sometimes the blink is weird. Did you see how it like blinked me down here and then blinked me up here? And then right here blinked me down there and then just kind of left me there. And I'm not entirely sure what's causing that. Maybe it might have something to do with this now being like an AoE damage spell. So it like tries to get me on top of enemies. It's a little bit funky. All right. Alright, we got it. No, we don't! Okay. No, we do. It might actually, like, be because of that. Because Let's let's test this. Um, it should then blink me on top of this. No, I didn't want to cast. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, try again. No! Hmm. I don't know what's causing that, then. Some strange behavior. So you say. I'm not ready. Here's a yard arm for you. Alright, here's some stuns. Block this stuff. Here's some more stuns. Oh, no. No, the primal beast again. Okay. All right. No! No! What is the cooldown on this thing? <laughs> it's just always active. There's a 1.1 second downtime, I suppose. But like... Oh. It's tough to deal with. Tough to deal with, for sure. The biggest problem is really that the Primal Beast, like, just randomly absorbs spells of mine and then sends them back at me, right? Even if I try to avoid casting on the Primal Beast, I do still just kind of inevitably hit the Primal Beast. Alright, 
Oh, what? <laughs> like 6,000 damage in one hit. All right, all right, all right. I mean, it is a one-shot build, so I guess it's gonna be one-shotting. Silvage time. No, the problem is that, like I said earlier, that we could get Silvage to deal with the Primal Beast, but it doesn't work anymore. Because, like, the problem with Primal Beast isn't really that we can't kill him, it's that he's reflecting all of our spells. And Silvage doesn't help with that. I just need to perma stun him. There we go. That is how we deal with Primal Beast now. <laughs> it's just unfortunately not incredibly consistent. Uh, but uh, it'll just have to be the only way. Yeah, it's just PA with multicast and good juju. And I guess time walk. I feel like almost her normal blink might be better. Is time walk better than blink strike? Alright, we got we got a stun. No, oh, I'm dying! No! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> so I guess we get a heart instead of the bloodstone. I feel like the bloodstone isn't really doing what we needed to. It might be because like my activations aren't coming out as nicely. You got to keep in mind that as I'm playing this, like it may look like a lot of the time I'm not doing stuff, but like I'm trying to cast spells. It's just the multicasts interrupt my casts. They interrupt my inputs. So I think... I just should I should just replace Bloodstone. Just get a heart. Because the heart is always active. That's always healing us. We don't need to worry about missing it, you know? No! Oh, see, this is what I mean. We just we just missed a bit. Alright. Ah, oh, but I'm just dying. I'm still dying. Run! Run! Where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I can kind of lock him down, but it's just not enough. The struggle is brutal. Absolutely devastating. Oh, the Lincolns. Yeah, I should just assume that if the Monkey King gets a hit in on me, I will die, right? Like, I know I could have protected myself there, but honestly, I just, I don't know, thought I had some time. But no, Monkey King just has enough power in a single hit that there is no chance. I mean, I wasn't even particularly high on HP, so that was probably a bit silly. So how do we ever get in there? I mean, I guess uh, we need the Phantom Assassin to somehow pull through. I'll avenge myself. She is quite powerful, so it's not unreasonable to assume, but... Respawn times are just kind of low. Oh, no. Okay, we wait, we wait, we wait. Nice and patient. There we go. Oh, then we get fucked up, but... No! <sighs> but, I don't know, I guess maybe it's fine. Oh no, it's not fine. <laughs> Dawnbreaker. With her instant attack build. Which is actually kind of fun, I like it. Right, Gemini attack plus Starbreaker. You just get instant curse of awareness, instant luminosity. Surprised to not see a Slaughter Bash in there? You don't need boots? I think I do need boots. I'm not sure I need E-Blade. Like, E-Blade is good. 
But I'm not good enough to use it. <laughs> oh no. There was a primal beast on top of me and I couldn't use myself. Oh, I think they might have us. They might have done it. Yeah. Turns out that, honestly, this guy was just too much of a problem. It's kind of funny, right? Like, just like this huge-ass tanking build ends up being one of the most dangerous ones are here. But yeah, that's just how it goes, right? At the end of the day, you gotta stay alive. Fruin and assassinate. Just a little bit of a stun. Oh my god, the range on that. Alright, we've got him. No! I mean, I got the Monkey King, which is good, right? That is valuable, but... Not Monkey King, sorry, the Sniper. But then the Monkey King just comes in and claps me. And I don't know what to do about that. I guess I, I shouldn't be that close. I wish Ephelons had an upgrade. Right? Ephalance is definitely an item that should have an upgrade. I'm not saying it needs to be anything specific. It just, like, should have one. Because it is a nice item. Having extra cast range can be really valuable and I think quite fun. But at the same time... It feels bad to buy a, uh, an Ephalance just on its own. Hmm. Come on, cast. There you go. More casts. Very good. No! Alright, good, good, good. Just, just keep, keep throwing these. Got him. Nice. Oh. Just lock him down. We just lock him down. I mean, I also think, honestly, that uh, this right here, the phylactery, this also feels like it should have an upgrade. And I know that, like, Xeno combined the two in one x 6 but that, that does feel really natural, doesn't it? It wouldn't surprise me if they did the same thing. It's actually kind of funny. This is something that Valve has done like quite a few times in the past, but it's just kind of like add an item that feels a little bit awkward and then like add some component items later. I think they just kind of take their time to feel out what the item behaves like and how people use it and what heroes, you know, people like buying it on. And then afterwards they figure out what exactly they want to they wanna do with it. They have an interesting philosophy to this kind of stuff. Like, same as thing for heroes. Like, Valve will just release unfinished heroes, right? They have... Uh, Valve has not released a single finished hero. Because they never released them with an Aghanim's Shard and Aghanim's Scepter ready. Right? And isn't that kind of weird? Because, like, these days, that's... Dota heroes have Aghanim's Scepters, they have Aghanim's Shards. A Dota hero that doesn't have those things is just not a finished Dota hero. Despite that, Valve always releases them without it. Alright, nice. Oh yes, the bounce. The big money bounce. Oh no. 
Blink? I'm gonna just kind of try to get out of here. I'm under attack. Ooh, I'm being attacked. Nah, that's really it doesn't have a cooldown, does it? <laughs> God damn, alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I found some Bounty runes. Tier 4 token. Bonus cast range? I mean, it's the same amount, but it doesn't have a downside, right? So, like, I might as well take it. Oh, no. Oh, they're just going for it. Nice. All right, my team got it. Hmm, TP is on cool now. Are you gonna live long enough? Maybe the two of you together will. Alright, we got one. Nope. Got him. Nice! Hey, we did it! We did it! <laughs> Let's go. I mean, despite some struggles, despite some hard matchups, managed to pull it off nicely, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate that. And don't forget to check out Sweet Dreams Alex. There's a link down in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.